Yo, 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 what up? Caddy Diz, aka Caddy the Contest, yeah. Yeah, chopping it up here at the guillotine. Yeah. So what up, world? What y'all doing today? How y'all feeling? My definition of a producer would be someone who understands music. And I'm not talking about like, there's gotta be rules in like learning how, or knowing where to put certain verses and bridges and you know what I mean, hooks and all that like, it's a person that has no law to anything. He just goes in there and does his own style. You know what I mean? That's that's a producer. Because you got your beat makers, you know what I mean? They just make beats. The run on loops, you know what I mean? Simple hooks, simple drums or whatever, rhythms, even keys, chords. Sometimes they don't even understand their own chords. And uh, a producer, in other words, would go for many scales, keys, chords, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Because they would know how to hear a, a song before he even makes it, or she. You know what I mean? And that's my definition of a producer. Nah, I just fuck with y'all. Three beats are cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, don't go out of your way to ask someone for something free, you know what I mean? It, it's cool, but it would really be nice if, you know what I mean, you came at them a little proper, even just donating something. Something, you know what I mean? The guy spends his time doing something. I mean, show him a little appreciation or something. I mean, free beats, they're cool, you know what I mean? Because uh, artists are always looking for free beats, you know what I mean? Plus, it's a good way to promote, you know what I mean? It, it, like, you could slap your tags on there, do whatever you want, you know what I mean? They could do whatever they want. They could just put it on a mixtape, maybe even just a little promo song that they're doing for their chick or a homie or whatever the hell it is, you know what I mean? Um. But as a studio time, no, no free studio time, nope. Yeah, I mean, uh, the engineering and the mastering and all that is like, it takes time. Yeah, I mean, it's time bearing and not too many people understand that. You know what I mean? They, they think that it's just like, oh, we get on the computer or whatever we're doing, the hardware. We just start doing things right away. Nope. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it takes a few days to actually master down the song, like, the way you want it, in other words. But I guess some people just get what they pay for, you know what I mean? Hmm. Wow. That's a great question. Huh? I don't know, there's many producers that I've liked over the time, like many. I'm talking about just over the years from like Timbaland, Dr. Dre, um, Quincy Jones, Smokey Robinson. You know what I mean? Just, I, I can go on for days, you know what I mean, about producers, but if I had to choose one for right now, I'd probably say a rap music. Yeah, you know I mean the guy's killing it. He he does shows live. You know what I mean. Hundred thousand people shows happy. You know what I mean. Like the guy's rocking it, dude. An NPC just sitting there just doing his thing. You know what I mean. That's what it is. You know what I mean. Like he's dope.
tomorrow. See, my style kind of like, well, I have versatility, you know what I mean, with beats. music and all that because like I, I, I'm quite influenced with a lot of stuff but if I would love for someone to actually just say hey what up you know what I mean I want to work with you um, I'd probably say tech nine you know what I mean I follow tech nine since since he came out with the angelic you know what I mean even before that you know what I mean, when he was with Sibo, with the regime and all that, you know what I mean, up in the West Coast. I mean, that's probably one of the guys that I would love to work with, you know what I mean? Tech 9. Tech 9? Um, I'd probably say Juice from Phoenix, Rum Nitty. Phoenix, um, Smoke Dog from Albuquerque, um, would you consider Fade Dog from the Southwest? Hmm. Let's see who else? Juan Gambino from Albuquerque. Um, oh, can't forget about Saint from Albuquerque too. My number five would have to be Biggie. Yep, I'll be fan fan.